Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Solutions for Accounting's Direct Debits module, today integrated with Sage Intact. The general principle behind our Direct Debits module is to take the invoices from your financial management system, in this case Sage Intact, and determine which customers are due to be paid by or have their collections made by direct debit, see all the available invoices that are ready for collection and the amounts remaining to be paid on those invoices, and then create a direct debit payment file to go to your direct debit provider to then make those collections for you. What the system will then do is post the receipts back into Sage Intact against the appropriate invoices also giving you a bank file um, transaction for you to reconcile against your bank uh, account as well. Our direct debit system is cloud-based, so you log into it through your web browser. It's logged into by uh, named users, and each of your users can have their own set of permissions, and you can determine whether or not they are site admins and can control things like the company lists and the details around the company. You can control whether they have access to and ability to edit the customer bank account details, for example, as well. And of course, whether they can process direct debit runs or not. The system allows you to connect to multiple companies, and there's no restriction on how many of those connect to your Sage Intact system or any other supported financial management tool. They can all be connected to from the same place. So if you've got some companies using a Sage 200 system and some companies using a Sage Intact system, you could connect all of those up in the one place. You can also connect at top level or entity level within Sage Intact. Each of these companies can be set up uniquely so on this situation we're connecting to an entity with an intact we are setting a default bank account and we're determining here which fields are being used to signify whether a customer is going to have their invoices paid by direct debit or not in this case it's a simple tick box and if it's true that customer is going to be included in the direct debit system and the customer's invoices are going to be included for collection there's a number of other options around the output format of your direct debit file to go to your direct debit broker, um, what sort of date ranges you want to use, and even which types of transactions you're wishing to retrieve from accounts receivable. The system also supports the ability to set up your audit files, so your direct debit setup files. The direct debit provider will have a, a process in place for setting up direct debit mandates and if that process does support or require an audit file that can be generated from here. All of the customer's details and their bank details etc are contained within the direct debits module. Okay to create a direct debit run we can do that from here. So we'll add a new run, select the company that we are going to do the direct debit run for give the run a name and select a bank account. As you can see it's defaulted to our default bank account that we set up in our settings but we can pick any of our connected bank accounts on Sage Intact. Depending on the account you select will determine the bank currency. Clicking Generate now interrogates Intact through the API and pulls out a list of all the available invoices for all of the direct debit uh, collection customers that could be paid based on date fields and filters etc that we've defined. On this occasion it's pulled out a list of two customers with invoices. I can then fine tune this to include or exclude specific bits of information. So I can remove entire customers from the list and within an individual customer, I can see the individual invoices that are available for collection. I can see the transaction amounts. I can see the amounts still outstanding on those transactions and therefore the amount available to collect. What I'm going to do here 
is collect $500 on this particular invoice and I'm not going to collect anything for any of the other invoices. I can come in and out of this run as many times as I like at this point. I can reload the data to pull in new sets of invoices if I wished. And also if I change statuses in intact around whether a customer or invoice was on hold, for example, I can change a customer from being on hold to off hold, come in here and reload the data, and then that would bring their invoices in if they were a direct debits customer as well. Once I'm happy with my list of collections, I can commit that. Once I commit, I cannot change that record. It is now locked, but I am now able to download my bank file, which I then send to my DD broker. And I'm able to post the information to Sage Intact. The posting behaves in Sage Intact exactly the same as an AR payment would do within the system. So it records the date of the payment, it records the invoices that it was associated with, and of course, puts the bank file transaction in for bank reconciliation. If I just refresh this screen here, and go to our posted payments, we'll see that we've now got a $500 payment dated the 15th of September, which was the date we said our collection was going to occur. And you can see which customer it relates to and which invoices that's been allocated against. There's no technical limit to how many customers are included on a run or how many invoices are included on that run. They're all available for that, uh, that collection. Go onto the file to your broker and then the AR payments get posted into Intact. This completely streamlines the process of making your collections by direct debit and prevents you having to come in and manually post all of your different receipts. The bank matching rules also work in accordance with this. So the reference on my payment run was the name I gave my direct debit run. That is also the reference that is going to appear on the bank file. And then when the bank transactions come through on the, in this case, 15th of September, you've got a, a chance for the matching rules then to match that up against the, the, the multiple account receivable payments all in one go, rather than having again, X number of bank files to then, or bank transactions to go through a match off. Thank you very much.